Welcome, welcome to injecting a GTM container on a site. Before we dive in, just a minute about who I am. I'm Manisha Mystery, an instructor at measurementmarketing.io. I became a measurement marketer in 2022. As an instructor, I do work with our dedicated measurement management clients. I am also actively supporting clients and members by answering questions. I love BigQuery, Analytics, Canvas, and Looker Studio. So you got one of those and you got a puzzle to solve in there. I'd love to dive in. Alrighty, with any one of our videos, you want to remember one thing. As you are watching this, grab one thing, go ride the bike, go practice that one thing, and then circle back, give it a watch again, and then grab another one thing and ride the bike with that one thing. As you grab individual one things, before you know it, you've mastered 10 things. Now, let's dive in to injecting a GTM container on a site. Let's start. Now, before we dive in and do a live demo of how you can inject a container on a site, let's talk about the benefits of injecting a container. One of the best benefits of injecting a container on a site is testing out a GTM implementation. So you can test out your GTM implementation. You can take a look, are tags firing, are triggers firing, or what's going on with the site. Another benefit is you can grow your skills. You can pick a site and you can try measuring different things by injecting a container. So let's dive in now and do a live demo of how you can inject GTM container on a site. Alrighty, so to inject GTM on our site, we're going to use one of my most favorite Chrome extensions. The Chrome extension is called Add Swerve Data Layer Inspector. I have it installed right here. Um, now, this Chrome extension has so many different features to it. We're not going to dive into all the details of it. They have a great article if you go to their site. We'll also include this link in the description where you can learn all about this extension and all that it can do. Um, so here is the link to the Chrome store also where you can get this extension. It's right here. Um, and we'll also include this link and then basically you just add it to your Chrome. Once you add it, it will appear up here. If you don't see the word on on here, it's because this is toggled off. So I'm actually going to toggle this off and I'm going to hit save and show you. So what I'll say is I'll actually say off when you start and then I'm actually going to come here and then to get it to turn on, you're going to turn it on. Okay. Um, so now let's first go over to the store, which we want to inject Google Tag Manager on. So I have this container here. This is a container that um, our team uses when we're teaching. And we were just using this to teach one of our Google Tag Manager courses. So in this container, we have a bunch of different tags that we were testing and, and working through and teaching. Okay. So I want to inject this container onto our, you know what, measuremarketing.io site. So I'm going to load the site. So here we have the site is just loading. Give it a second. Okay, so you're on the site, you know, here you are, the site URL. You're gonna click on the Chrome extension. And then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna to toggle this inspect on. And then you're gonna head down, you don't worry about any of this, come to add functionality, and you're gonna come down to insert GTM container and click the check mark. Okay. Now it's gonna ask you for your GTM container ID. So you're gonna hop into your Google Tag Manager and you're gonna come up and you're gonna to go to where you have this code, click on it. And then you're going to go grab that entire number, just like this. Make sure you're, you know, not copying the quotes. And then you're going to control C on your keyboard. You can also write and copy, whichever works. And then you're going to come back into here. You're going to go get that brought up, inspect, open this, insert, and put that number in there. Okay. And hit save so you don't lose it. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to say the URL. So what you want to do is I'm going to move this over to the other screen so I can, you know, kind of do this is I'm going to come here. Now copying the URL has to be the most important part for this Chrome extension. Okay. So you don't want to copy the HTTPS. Um, you want to copy if they have www, make sure you grab that. But if they don't, you want to copy the host name and then what they have at the ending. Don't copy the trailing slash and don't copy the UTMs. Okay. I control C that and I put that in here. Okay. So here you go. Now, if you had multiple domains, like if your client's funnel had multiple domains, you could use regex and get fancy to kind of separate them. But in this case, let's just, you know, put the domain here. We know our site's on one domain. Now we're going to save. What we're looking for is a green little box that appears that says this we're injected. So let's see if that appeared. And if not, then we can play around with it. So there you go. See, now we've inserted the GTM container. I'm going to go back and show you. We've inserted, see this ended in S3BT, 
S3 BT has been injected. Now, what does this mean? Okay, so I'm going to keep this handy. I'm actually going to close this out. I can close this out now because I'm injected. And I'm going to copy this URL. Go copy. And now we are going to hop into preview mode and inject and test out this container and see if you know these tags are firing on our site. So here we go. We're going to go into preview mode. And now we're going to put in our URL. I'm just going to I copy and paste it in. Connect. Okay, so what we want to see is we want to see preview actually fire up and we want to see our tags fire. So we're just going to give this a second to load. We're going to wait for that little box. We can see we've inserted, we've injected. We see nice little green check mark here. Let's head over into Assistant. It will take a second. It does take a little bit more time because the code's injected, but that's totally fine because this gives you the opportunity to test out a container. So you could come here and be like, hey, is my GA4 config tag firing? And when is it firing? So coming in here, I can see it fired on all pages. It fired on container loaded. Perfect. And let's say I was testing. Maybe the client's like, hey, can we measure if somebody clicks this button? So I know in my container, I'm going to hop back into my container, I have a GA4 clicks tag, right, set up. And we do cover this in other workshops. We have a click tag set up. Now I want to see if can, you know, if I click on that button, is it going to fire and preview and can I track that? So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to come here and I'm going to go click. I'm going to hop in here and I can see, oh, look, I got a link click and I can capture it. So I can tell the client even, you know, before the discovery call, like, hey, these are things I can capture, right? These are useful things that you can gather. And it's great for prepping for a discovery call because if the client has a, a difficult site or an interesting site or, you know, you know, something, you know, that's new for you to measure on their site, it gives you a chance to test out the implementation before you even have access to their container or their GA4 because you can inject a new fresh container on their site. And we do this every so often when we have a client, right? Um, so we're, you know, we can inject on their site and kind of look through it. So I can scroll here and you will see that scroll will fire, right? So coming into here, uh, I just had scroll that fire right here. So I can see my scroll fired, right, of 10%. And it does take a few minutes. So, you know, just be patient with it. And you might see extra, you know, events or points in time, right, on the left side. That's because in addition to the container that the client already has on the site, you've injected, which is totally fine. This is not something you're going to use for an end implementation. This is something you're going to use to grow your skills, something you're going to use to prep for a client meeting. Now that we've you know, seen we could do it on our domain, which is all good, let's uh, do it on a you know, completely different domain. So I'm actually going to close out my preview. I'm going to come in here and I am going to turn off this plugin. And just you know, a little bit of advice is make sure you turn off this plugin if you're not using it, because it can definitely use a lot of uh memory sometimes like i notice if i have this running it could definitely eat so let's now try injecting on a completely different website and not, not one of our brands let's try injecting on walmart.ca so i'm just typing in the url so we can take a look at it okay so we're going to use the same container but we're now going to inject it on walmart site so um, i'm going to click on that chrome extension again i'm going to come in here I'm going to open this up and we're just going to change the domain out. So instead of, you know, myasmarketing.io, I'm going to actually move this over to the other screen. I'm going to grab the URL. Now, it's really important to note that this URL has a www. So you want to grab that www.walmart.ca. I'm going to bring back the Chrome extension. I'm just going to paste in the URL here and hit save. And we're again looking for our green box. Okay, we got our green box. So now, technically speaking, I can grab this entire URL. I can head on over into my container and I can hit preview. And this is so fun because let's say we're talking to Walmart, right? And they're like, hey, can we measure this? So here's the URL, connect. Alrighty, so I'm giving this a second to load. You know, we could check what we can measure. So one, we're looking for a green box here. Two, we're looking for a box here. And three, we're hopping into there to make sure it connects. I didn't see our green box here, so let's take a look. Oh, interesting, that green box didn't pop but it connected. So maybe that was just odd, um, but we know it's connected. So that's good. So now we can actually come in here and be like, maybe they want us to measure this, you know, C times. Like they're wondering, hey, like are people clicking the, you know, C times? Maybe that's what the conversation at the discovery meeting is gonna be about. So I'm gonna click on C times and then I'm gonna hop in and I'm gonna see, did I capture that click? Well, oh, look, I see some history changes. So even before I've talked to the client, I know there's maybe a single page application on here. Maybe I need to be aware of that. That could make measurement a bit difficult. So that's, you know, good to know. And I can see, well, it made that click, you know, what, you know, what was captured here. And I can see the click text was C times. 
And then maybe I'm like, well, maybe they want to know, are people clicking on delivery from store? So let me click on that and see if we capture that. And oh, lo and behold, we have a click. And if we come into our variables, we can see delivery from store. So it's super helpful to have this in your toolbox. Here's the other thing that I love about this extension. So let's say I want to do it on more sites than just ones at, I, at a time. So I'm actually going to close this out and close this out and close this out and show you what that means. OK, so I'm actually going to come in here and I am going to go here and I'm going to take out the URL and I'll keep the regex checked um, for now. And look at this. So I'm going to go to Amazon.ca. And let's see if it lets us inject. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. See, I got injected on Amazon.ca. So now I could actually go and, you know, play around and, and see, can I measure, you know, people clicking on this or people clicking on this? And I could do all that and, and build my skills. The other thing you can do is regex. So uh, they have the regex checkbox. So you could just check the box and then um, I have a little bit of regex written here. So let's say you want just two domains. You could do two domains and, and you know, there's some regex in here that you need to learn. And in a few minutes, I'll let you know how you can get a free tool from us that kind of walks you through uh, regex and how to use it. Right. Um, but there's so many different options and injecting a Google Tag Manager container gives you that ability to kind of grow your skills and also, you know, test out things before you get on a call with a client. Alrighty, so what was your one thing? Was it that you could inject GTM on any site? I have to say that's something we find super helpful. We do a lot, especially when we're helping clients or members, we inject GTM, especially on member sites, just to kind of help us and help our members out. So you can definitely use that to train people in your team. If you found this useful, hit subscribe now. We have great content coming. Now, as always, we want to remember our measurement marketing framework that helps us go from marketing in the blind to marketing with reliable legal revenue and profit. When it comes to injecting GTM um, on a site, it could be useful in the plan. If we can see, you know, can we measure the things they want measured and in the build, you know, even getting a build started before you get access to their Google Tag Manager container. Now, if you want access to get some free tools, which I mentioned earlier, we have some free tools. We have even you know, like a regex heroes, which kind of gives you a walkthrough of how to write regex. We also have lots of different free tools like the traffic tracking toolkit to learn about those tools and learn about joining the measurement marketing Academy, where you can ask questions to myself or Julie brought a live in videos, go to measure.tips slash get Academy. So there you have it. That's injecting a GTM container on a site.